All right, guys, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a little bit different. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about how to become an HVAC art tech because I get so many emails, DMs, messages. I get so many every single month. So, since since I have a lot of new subscribers, I want to talk about it because I think I made a video. Yeah, I made a video a while back talking about ten ways to consider before becoming an HVAC tech. Uh, so on today is going to be how to become an HVAC tech. Uh, like I said, I'm doing this because I have a lot of new subscribers that are younger, that, have, that are barely getting into the trade or thinking going coming into the trade. Um, so that's what we're going to go ahead and talk about today. As right now, I need to replace these, uh, this disconnect because it broke. So um, I already went downstairs, make sure and verify the power was off. I'm going to go ahead and verify power is off also on here. Uh, the bottom section on the breaker is already locked out, tag out. So there should be nothing we should worry about. So let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start taking this off. And while we do this, we're gonna go ahead and talk about how to become an HVAC tech. All right, so before we start, let's go ahead and start taking off this panel. Let's go ahead and verify that we have no power whatsoever. things to consider before even coming into the trade so three things like I said number one you guys have to be comfortable with stress um, us technicians get a lot of stress especially on summertime uh, when we're pulling 14 15 hour days uh, while working with 120 degrees up here in the roof so that's number one number two you have to be comfortable working with your hands uh, if you're not comfortable working with your hands if you're not comfortable working with your hands or getting dirty um, this trade is not for you you have to be comfortable working with your hands and then last thing um, you have to be comfortable not knowing in this trade you learn you learn something every single day so if you're comfortable not knowing then it should be fine but if you're those people that like to know everything and um, They like to know everything and everything about a specific thing. Uh, this ain't gonna be for you. But like I said, because every single day there's there's something to be learned. Um, for you to feel comfortable in this trade, you need to be doing this. You need to do this at least three to four years. After that, you feel a little bit more confident. You feel comfortable enough to go to any unit and work on it. Um, you just have to have common sense. So before we even get started, you have to consider those three things before becoming a tech, before even going to school. So, so there's two ways to become a HVAC tech. Number one is go through apprenticeship. Number two is go to trade school. If you go into a trade school, a trade school is gonna teach you the basics. Usually a trade school takes about six to nine months depending where you go. Um, and basically all you're gonna learn is your basics and your safety and of course getting your EPA which the EPA is for you to be able to work on uh, refrigerant um, that's probably the most important thing also guys one thing to remember is um, once you get out of school be comfortable not knowing anything because when I went to school I didn't learn nothing people usually don't learn nothing you like I said you just go to learn your basics your safeties and your EPA so don't feel bad and I'm saying that because I get a lot of messages and emails saying hey man I'm going to school and I haven't learned anything this this and that and I tell them straight up I mean when I got to school I didn't even learn how to check the capacitor so just just know that it happens to everybody it's not just you in particular um, also once you get out of trade school uh, start applying start applying everywhere uh, if you like the residential side start residential if you like commercial then go to commercial um, a lot of the commercial work we're by ourselves we don't have to do sales and we're in the roofs 24 7 if you go into the residential um, you do a lot of sales uh, you go into a lot of attics basements things like that 
So whatever you want to do. Me personally, I'm not a sales guy, so I came to the commercial side. And I like working by myself. So like I said, guys, once you get out of school, start applying everywhere. Uh, don't just apply and wait for them to call you. Uh, go ahead and uh, what I did, and me and specifically, I applied, I called them, I went to the office, I was active. Um, I wasn't just home waiting for them to call me. Because I guarantee you, 70% of the time, if you just apply, you ain't gonna get called. So go out there and get it yourself. Uh, like I said, don't just wait home and wait for them to call you, because that ain't, that ain't gonna happen. Also guys, whenever you go and apply and you have an interview, let the, let the owner, the company know that you're fresh out of school. Don't tell them you know this, you know that, because you're gonna end up, uh, it's gonna end up biting you in the ass. Uh, so my suggestion is when you go apply, be honest, tell them you're fresh out of school, I'm here to learn and I'm here to work. And uh, just know that you're gonna start at the very bottom. Uh, a lot of people start as um, installers, sheet metal or duct work. So just be, just be, just know you're gonna start from the very bottom. Me personally, I started as a maintenance guy. Uh, after three months, I moved into service, and a month later, I was already on the on-call rotation. So it just depends on you. So just know that the money's gonna come in later. Like I said, it usually takes about three to four years for you to feel comfortable. After that, that's when you start asking for your money and how much you think you're worth. Treat uh, treat the trade school as a job. Um, if you if you're going to trade school and you're calling calling in left and right. Personally, I got I had perfect attendance, so that's the reason why I got hired at my job because they saw that I had perfect attendance. I wasn't calling in, nothing like that. I was treated in as a job, um, so I got ahead of all the guys that had way better scores than I did, just because I had the pretty good attendance. Uh, so, like I said, guys, treated like a job. Don't call in. And last thing about trade school, guys, is be patient. You're not gonna. It's gonna be rare for you to get a job. Uh, a week after school it usually takes about a month of just trying and trying and trying so that's the last thing just be patient all right so the, now with the apprenticeship guys uh, an apprenticeship is when you go work for a company and that company teaches you everything you basically are the helper um, and me personally guys my personal opinions on that is if you're able to go through an apprenticeship instead of a trade school, I would suggest you guys do that. One, you're gonna save a bunch of money. Two, you're gonna be learning a lot of hands-on, which in trade school, you don't. You learn a lot more books now, especially now with the whole COVID thing. Um, so if you have the chance, go ahead and uh, apply for an uh, apprenticeship if they're available around your area. If not, then go ahead and go a trade, to a trade school. With apprenticeship, you can either go two ways. You can go to a union shop or non-union. Uh, but at this point, I mean, it really doesn't matter. If you're able to go into a union, I would recommend you guys go into a union. Uh, better benefits, better pay, better everything. Usually apprentices, apprenticeships, uh, it depends where you go to. Uh, if you go into a union shop, it'll it'll take you a couple years to finish it, to, be, uh, to get out of the apprenticeship program. So, like I said, just be patient. Um, just be patient, like I said, just be patient. Also guys, I forgot to mention that uh, if you go to an apprenticeship, you don't have to pay money. If you go into a trade school, my trade school was 20K. Um, but if you go into a, a an apprenticeship you don't have to pay money and you're making money while you're learning so like I said if you're able to go into apprenticeship go ahead and do that if you don't have that available then the next big thing is a, a trade school I do believe um, there's some community college that you're able to take HVAC um, I'm not 
not going to talk too much about it because I personally don't know too, uh, too much about it. Uh, but that's another thing you can do is uh, call your local community college, ask them if they have a uh, HVAC programs, and if they do, then I would recommend you guys do that instead of your uh, trade school. Like I said, because trade school is so expensive. So hopefully, um, a few tips are helping you guys. Uh, I wish I would have seen a video like this when I first started coming up in the trade. Um, but I remember back then there was only a few channels and that were making content like this. So, also guys, and if you guys were wondering about the whole COVID thing with HVAC, um, on my end right now, the company that I'm at, it really didn't affect us. Uh, I was talking to the guys that they've been here for a while and when the whole COVID thing was going on, they were only getting their 30 something hours. So, I mean, it really didn't affect us at all. One thing people can't live without is, one, oxygen, air. Number two is air conditioning. Remember that. I mean, and of course food, you know what I mean, but we're exaggerating. Uh, but yeah, man, a, a lot of people would rather fix their air conditioning here than have a brand new TV. I'll, I'll tell you that right now. So, I do recommend this trade for all the new guys. As you all know, what everybody says, there's going to be a shortage of technicians, maybe 10 years. So, I do suggest you guys check, uh, check out this trade, look at my previous videos. Um, that's why I'm making, I like making this type of videos because even the vlog style ones, because it kind of gives you guys a perspective. Um, I'll go ahead and post a video somewhere here. Uh, it just like an average day when it's 110 degrees up in the roof. That way you guys get a good idea. Uh, one thing you guys don't want to do is come into the trade thinking you're the shit just because you went to a school. You know what I mean? Uh, if you do that, you ain't going to make it in this trade. Um, in this trade, you need allies. Uh, you need friends. Um, thank God, when I first started, I had a really good uh, teacher. Um, fellow uh, technician that showed me you know that showed me that had the patience um, especially nowadays usually the older guys don't have the patience or they don't want to teach you because job security for them so like I said guys try to find a good company um, interview the company that you're applying to just as they're interviewing you uh, ask if they have paid vacation ask if they're if, how, how they manage to get raises um, ask them for 401k ask them for uh, ask them for uh, insurance you know what I mean you guys want to do your homework not just apply anyway and, and you know make it over um, because a lot of companies especially on the residential side they'll 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 mess you up you know what I mean a lot of them don't have insurance or things like that so just just be smart know where you're going like I said guys I kind of wish I would have seen a video like this when I first started it would uh it would have been a great help and my last advice guys is um, just listen to the old guys you know what I mean uh, just listen to what they wanted what they tell you to do if they tell you to go pick up a tool just go do it don't you know don't argue um, be respectful don't call your co-workers bros you know what I mean unless they're the same age as you then it's kind of different but for older guys that don't like that just be be respectful Because if you don't treat them with respect, they ain't gonna respect you back. So, and last thing you want is senior text to be, you know, messing with you and instead of helping you out. Because uh, I've seen that, I saw that a lot coming up in the trade is uh, younger guys getting punked by older guys. Um, so, like I said, guys, 
don't let yourself get punked. You know, be keep it respectful. Uh, if senior techs don't want to teach you where you're at, you know what I mean? Give it a year and then get out of there. Uh, don't waste your time at a company that ain't going to take the time to teach you. Do not do that. Like, that's probably number one. Do not waste your time at a company that will not teach you. Um, the thing that is cool about this trade is this trade, you're able, if you learn it, you can go anywhere in the world and do this trade. Uh, nobody's gonna take the knowledge away from you, so keep that in mind when trying to do it in this trade. When trying to apply for this trade and thinking about it. You know what, for talking, I forgot to put the little, uh, I forgot to put this. So I gotta take this two off and put the back of this. Dang it. I'm gonna go ahead and get another strap and put it in. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, leave two new two new uh, fuses. I'm gonna go ahead and put them on the top right there, just for future. That's something I always like to do is put some uh, extra extra fuses. It's tight. So I just need a strap for this. Also, guys, check out uh, what True Tech Tool sent me. Pretty dope. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and be testing this out a couple more times, and hopefully by next week I'm gonna have a a review on it uh, the first video is gonna be uh, first uh, first view of the new Testos 550s and then the second video is gonna be the review uh, how they perform everything on them so so far I'm really liking them and I'm actually pretty excited about them um, oh yeah and they also came with this probes so shout out to true tech tools for sending me that I really appreciate it uh, so like I was saying guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and share it to people that might that are thinking to come to come in HVAC techs um, Like I said, I kind of wish I would have seen this type of video when I first came up um, It would have helped me out a lot. So like I said, hopefully you guys enjoy this video Don't forget to share subscribe do all that thing. Peace